Hello friends, welcome back to Service Now 911. Today we are discussing reference qualifier. It is one of the important concept of field and configurations. So let's go to the instance. So this is the instance. Let's open incident table. So when we say reference qualifier, it means it is something related to reference field. So this is one of the reference field. Why it is a reference field? Because it references to a table like this. As it is a caller, caller means a user, right? In the organization. So it should be placed in a user table. So that's what this field is doing. It is referencing incident caller field to a user table. Okay. So right now you see around 624 records. But in case if you want to limit these number of records based on certain condition. Let's give some condition. Active is true and gender is male. Okay. Run. So now you see this is limited, right? Because we are only focusing on gender male. So let's say you want only these users to be available in the reference here. Okay. Not all the users. Right now we did it by filters, but you want it every time. So in that case, you have to create a reference qualifier. So let's go to reference qualifiers. Uh, configure dictionary. It will redirect us to dictionary. So this is the dictionary entry of caller field. Okay. So below you will see a section called reference specification. Here we have provided the reference as user table. So here you see reference qualifier. So there are basically three types of reference qualifier. The first one is simple. When you click on simple, you just have to provide the condition here. So let's say uh, we provide the same condition here. Active is true and gender is male. And then let's save this. Okay. So now let me open one incident. So you see here we have only 269 records. So the condition is working. It means the reference qualifier is working. But in case you want to have something uh, more complex or maybe you want to invoke some kind of script, in that case, you can create a dynamic one or you can create an advanced one. So you can see here, so as soon as I clicked on advanced, the condition which we use in the form of filters is now here in the form of script. Okay. In the same way, you can add more complex conditions. Let me show you all those conditions which are there already. Okay. So let's go to dictionaries. So here you see this is a reference. Okay. So let's show matching with reference type and uh, we'll just remove this reference qualifier empty. All these around 5000 fields are using uh, this. Uh, advanced type of reference qualifier and what they are doing here you see javascript colon new global qualifier dot target so what they are doing so they are basically creating a object or you can say invoking a script so you can have n number of conditions accordingly okay so let me show you a few so just open this so you see here javascript colon new global reference qualifier dot target qualifier and it is passing an argument as well so here we are using JavaScript. It means we are just calling an object of this particular script include and within that script include this is the function and in this function we are passing this parameter. So in this way we can create more complex reference qualifiers. If you have a script which you want to invoke which is returning some type of records. Uh, so in that case you can use that script in such a way. Okay. If you have any question, please let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much. We'll come up with a new video soon.